All right, so we got Sam Elsner. He works with me and with uh, Eric Johnson from Areet. I hope I'm saying that right, Eric or Sam. Somebody could yell at me. Sam, this isn't my favorite from the series you sent me, um, but I picked this because I, I thought there's a couple things we could address. A couple of those throws were really freaking good. I think on this throw you're a little bit hoppier than on some of the other ones. Um, decent wine. I don't like this huge wine for some people, but, dude, you're more experienced, you're stronger, so some people will sit there and say, oh, Dane doesn't like a big, deep wine. Well, I don't like a big, deep wine on kids that have no core strength and no ability to control the big, deep wine, but you're not that kid, so good. <laughs> um, starting to shift. Well, pickup time's pretty good. That left side could open maybe a maybe a, another couple degrees here. You could turn that left side a little more, but I, I don't think it's necessarily a, a major issue. Left knee's awesome here. This is where I'm talking about, though, with that little hop. I think that here... Can, so you can see, I'll go right below the chin, see if I can make that a little straighter. No, my fingers are too fat. Okay, that's shoulders, right shoulder in line with the chin, okay. The shoulder, shoulders really elevate a bit too much. And that, this is what I was talking about in the text, your foot's like, on a weird angle here. I almost want this. The foot, it should be, you know, almost mid foot below the knee or like mid to front of your foot below the knee. You tend to have this weird, this weird angle here. And the knees out a little bit. I I think that that's if you push this foot over like three inches, so it's a little more below the knee. It's going to help you rotate a little bit better. But the main issue on this throw, I think, is right here. So instead of like up, try and think, try and think, rotate down more. You're not bad. Like, you're not like a true jumper that's coming out of the back of the circle. You look, still look good. I'm just nitpicking here because I think you could improve this. If you rotate that and squeeze in your groin here, squeeze that down to rotate harder down, that might fix that, that weird foot angle that you see here. What I really like is you do a good job of waiting with that left side. And as that, this is good. As that left comes down, you're really starting to open up that left side. But I do think, so through here, so that left, left, definitely a lot stronger in that non-reverse. I think if you start engaging, like right about here with that left arm to open up, and you've got to play around with this. Do you like it tighter? Do you like here? Or do you like this a little bit wider? You like it tighter with that left side. You know, some guys hate hate going real wide, and some guys hate going real real tight. But play around with that. I sort of prefer it a little wider, maybe a little a little wider than you have it, not much. But use that left to trigger to trigger some rotation, some extra upper body rotation forward, forward, forward. You know, but I, you know. This is the part that a lot of people don't comprehend is right here, getting that left left heel flat. Now I think where you're grounded right there, you move the heel a little bit, get a little more weight into that left side, and you'll do that with that left arm opening up so that heel stays down a little bit longer. Tends to, tends to slide a little bit here, just a little. 
but overall, dude, these are these were all good throws. I just think maybe open that left foot, left knee a little more, but keep this is perfect right here. Left knee's mid sector. Rotate. This is where I'm saying rotate down. Maybe fix this. Move that over just a little bit, just a hair. Get into a flat, more flat left and a little wider. Rotate forward, but you're, these are good throws, man. I think you're going to freaking launch stuff.